G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the real Entente with Brunswick. Mm -hmm. uh, in between episodes we have started to build railroads because that finished either at the end of the last episode or in between. I, I, don't, know. I don't know. Something happened. Um, people have gone to war. Other people hate me. And we need to get our other armies up and going, because if we don't, we're screwed. Well, not screwed, but definitely in a bit of a pickle. So that's infantry, which means you actually need to go up to here. Also, my ships are taking attrition. Why? Because you have the supply set for... Right. Okay, yes. No, I see that. So, yeah, just don't worry about it. I won't then. Yeah. The Egypt, the French are back, and we want the Suez land. Hey, you can't stop progress. Two prestige. A 26-kilometer long rail line was built connecting St. Petersburg with the royal residence in... Sazako Selo, the first railroad in the Russian Empire. Uh, I can send an expedition or I can have better things to do. I think. Prestige. Might be nice. I, I figured out what these, these little buttons under the diplomacy tab mean. Um, so if like the little, the little compass thing pops up in blue, it's like, you can add things to your influence. I'm like, oh, look at that. Yeah. So I can. Alright, Dragoons as well needs to head over there. What are you? You are in your more cav, which I guess is down here. Cool. I believe that was everything. Yes, it was. Uh, let's see. Two. Three. Outlook on Cav, not so good. I have another army on the way. There's no templates or anything that you can do for that, right? No. Look at all the things we got used to in EU4. A younger game, but not by much. Okay, most of that stuff wasn't even in EU4 until recently as well, so... Alliance from Montenegro. Oh, yeah, whatever. Why not? You said cannon didn't really matter. It hurt my feelings. Can I do anything with production yet? No. No, I cannot. I cannot build factories. Ugh. No, but what you can do is in if you have projects you can fund them. I don't have any projects, no. That's assuming you have capitalists in your country. Which I don't, unless I change my military party. No, no, that's not. I got the population. Oh, it's just literally just doing population weirdness. So go on your population, click on where it says your name, France, yep. and then the fat man with the top hat, hover oh, over oh, that. Okay, so clergyman in Moscow is at 2.25. I need to change that now? Yes. To I need to remove the focus. 
Yes. So just. And then go to the next one down the list. Yeah, I'll just go down the list. To Kursk. Ooh, clean coal. All all of our coal has been thoroughly right. scrubbed. Yay! Scrub a dub dub three coal in a tub, and who do you think they were? Um. Right. There was a thing. Who can we do this to? Ah, that him. You increase the opinion. We are now up to uh, hereditary genetics. A major step towards understanding life of itself. Gregor Mendel. Assume that every trait in an organism contains but is written down some material factors that are transferred through the process. Pop growth, 0.02%. Oh no, General Prince Mikhail, whatever his name is, is dead. Oof. Does it like automatically assign generals? By default, it does. All right, so you don't actually have to create anything. It'll just... Ha! I've got all these generals that are now unassigned. Oops. Oops. Hang on a minute. I need to check something. That's fine. Um, let's see. I'm going to do... Discredit the USA. I cannot... Because I have a cordial. Ah, oh, I need to get up to the same. Damn it. Right. Um, okay, so Kev is done as well. This is going to be a while. Do clergymen also change the religion of the prov of the population in the province as well? So if they're, they're Jewish, they'll become Orthodox? I have no idea, because I've never looked at religion. Because, like I said, religion doesn't matter in this game. It might. Oh. Invented artillery production in Krakow. Good news, everyone. Saxony has invented social status. Oh, great. <laughs> it's the rise of the socialites. I am now the fourth great power. Damn. Because I am the suck. Damn it, Prussia. You and your sodding 14 factories. Prussia games. Russia will get a bunch of events that just give them a dumb, a ridiculous amount of prestige over time. Yeah. Hey, it's good Queen Vicky. <laughs> Roll credits. Like, actually. <sighs> so why did the number of brig brigades... Go down. I went from because 83 to whatever. It's tied to your total population. Are you losing population? Um, nope. I am gaining. No, I, uh, it's bumping back and forth between 13 and 14 gain. Also, it's people may not want to be a part of the army. They may be switching to other jobs. Right. We seem to be holding fairly static at 15.96 mil. Also, that's not your total population. That's just that's male pop. Your, your adult male pop. Right. Total Number is 63.8 mil. Slightly more than me, yeah. I'm at 39. Uh, ooh, good grief. Um, <sighs> references of alcohol taking a daily toll on people were tearing away with every day. Tearing away every day with newfound intensity. Pressure chambers for thorax surgery. The moral and spiritual fabric of a national character. What's wrong with a few drinks? Or we can go Temperance League. 
We might have a early civil war in the U.S. Brown's Lost Raid. That's good, right? Aerial bacteria and antiseptic principle. Combat medicine. It's rather apropos considering what we're currently going through in the West. I mean, everywhere the globe. Just, you know, the globe in general. Don't worry, Canon. The toilet paper will protect us. <laughs> That's going to be the other thing, right? Is we're going to look back at this and just, and just shake our head at the dumb. Uh, the sheer and a... utter amount of stupid that has gone on. I saw a thing on Facebook, some old guy posted that uh, I don't need to stock up. I still have supplies from the Y2K scare. Yeah, I saw that as well. That's <laughs> funny. But again, another, another instance where stupidity ruled everything else. Oh, I can't do anything with you. Less conservatives. Again. Persia apparently is in my sphere. Alright, I'm now at Cordial. I need... Feb 3rd of... Okay, so... Two, uh, I have 2.5 of the 25 influence required. Uh, Austria has decided to back the Netherlands. Okay. Now you can learn about crisis. Yeah, decide to back Belgium. Dutch Valoni. Dutch Baloney. So, right. go to the crisis tab inside the diplomacy, diplomacy tab. Yep. All Basically, right. the Belgian wants to Belgium wants to be independent from the Netherlands. Yes. Austria supporting Netherlands. That now since Neaton. We were not at war with anyone when this fires. We can support a side. If it get if the countdown timer gets to zero and a war is declared and we haven't picked a side, we lose prestige. But if it just resolves itself, like they they agree a white piece, which means nothing happens, or Belgium gets popped out, then it's fine. It just stops. Right and we don't have to worry about supporting a side. So I normally always just wait a while to see. Okay. Because I really have no vested interest in this, even though a weaker Netherlands is probably good for me, but nah. We got 300 days, so basically, I don't know, try and figure out a, a thing to do next episode, maybe? Also, dear God, the amount of railroads that's being built right now. Holy hell. <laughs> um, yeah, that that sound just keeps going for a while. Oh, doesn't it ever? <laughs> that's not the worst one. The worst one is the shipbuilding noise. Hey, tax efficiency done. Um, admin efficiency, I guess, is the next one I need. Ad hoc bill printing. Yes. Right. And then we'll start figuring out what to do from there on in. Alrighty then. Um, let's see now. This literally is just a waiting game. At the very beginning, yes. Afghanistan is now... Cordial. I want to discredit people, but I only got 7.3 influence. Making me to sad. 
Uh, you are justifying on Morocco? Yes. Actually, I'm going to support... You you want that weaker one? Side. Yeah, and also, there's a higher chance. I mean, we got Prussia, and I'd rather not fight Prussia. It resolves without a war mm. if a bunch of people are I on mean, one side. I border Austria, but again, I'd still rather not fight people. Right. Let's get another army up then, I guess. I'm actually going to be really annoyed if this goes to war. One, two, three. I just get some basic cab for this army. Are you kidding me? The AI is really going to fight this. Really, Austria? Oh, fuck. oh no. Just pause it. God. I'm still building Rick. shit. Alright, well, mobilize. Oh, that's the thing we have to do, isn't it? Uh, you can't. No. You don't need to. You have a stupid amount of armies, but um, I need to do something with this, don't I? I need to throw up my spending on land units, don't I? Uh, if you're talking about military spending, you don't. But stock pyro, yes. What yeah, so I mean, like, the national stockpile stock on land units is needs to go up. But yes. my defense spending can actually just, for military spending, can just stay at 50%. Yeah. Alright. Oh, lovely. Yeah, proceed. You can have, you can have access. I'm allied to the guy that I despise. But at least the Prussians will be able to do stuff. All right, are we are we ready? As will ever be. I'm gonna go with this idiotic war because the AI wouldn't accept it. Yep. So I'm not gonna get to use my justification because that'll just disappear along with four things. I mean, I could technically use it. But... The Austrians just got their butts handed to them. So did the forts actually do anything, or it just basically makes it take a little bit longer than it normally otherwise would? Yep, they just slow down sieges. Um, okay, so it doesn't really matter what we do. It's basically just research points for days.
I had hoped to avoid that, but sure. Why not game? Great. Is there any such thing as like dog piling in this? Yes. Oh. Fun. <laughs> Speaking of which, because I was doing stuff in the diplomacy screen, that's what you got dog piled. Yeah, that was a stack wipe too. Ooh. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Um. Simulation efforts in Lithuania areas and territories are progressing solid than they originally showed. One of the reasons that Lithuanian children are still educated in their native tongue by enforcing compliance to a national curricula, we can foster a new generation of children right to identify more with the Russian state. I guess because it doesn't actually give anything else. It's just assimilation rate, research modifier, research points modifier minus two percent. Mm -hmm. Is that offset by the sixty-three points I gain, or not? Well, it's not total, it's just for that area. Right. Okay. I guess I'll just enforce the curricula. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we got time for tonight. If you like what you saw, then you know what to do. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.